Hey, what's up everybody? Swish here. Uh, what I have for you today is how to filter water through the use of coffee filters. Stick with me. All right, welcome back to Swish Outdoors. Swish here, and again, what I have for you today is how to uh, filter water using the use of coffee filters. And this is just one option. Uh, you can use a uh, cotton to do that. This is just filtering the sediment from your from your water before boiling it or purifying it using iodine tablets or a uh, Sawyer filter or Grail filter it's to get that chunky stuff out of there or whatever in there. This is just a way to do it. Um, in my coffee. Uh, maker back home. I don't use these anymore. I have like a, a hard filter. Um, and then out in the field, I'm usually doing instant coffee or something like that. And I thought, what am I going to do with these? So I thought, why not try to filter water with them? So that's what we're going to do today. We're going to go through a little hike to uh, uh, Salamone Reservoir, the Three Falls Trail with my good buddy, Brandon Payton. Uh, he'll join me on that. So you'll see him a little bit in the video and uh, collect our water and come back here and get it filtered. So stick with me. First of the falls. Cool if you come down here. You're good. You're good. I'm just top. <laughs> Brandon has something here. to say. Yeah. <laughs> if you come down here after a pretty heavy rain, there's two waterfalls down here. It's pretty sweet. Yeah. Oh, because it comes up there yeah. or down there. Yep. I forgot about that. Three falls trail. The third one there is not working, but that's okay. <laughs> Out of order. It's it's February. Be close to the falls now. That's real slick. I ain't trying that right there, <laughs> but. Pretty great falls, especially in February. Can't wait to see it again in the spring. All right, hey, so we're gonna gather our water here in my little blue bottle. And uh, always make sure when you're collecting water, the stream's flowing this way, as you can see. So you wanna fill it up with the stream flowing this way, not that way. That's a big misconception, so. Break up the ice. All right, so we got half a bottle of water. Good enough for now. So uh, I'll get back to you and show you how to filter it. All right, hey, welcome back, guys. So uh, we've collected our water <clears throat> in my little blue Nalgene uh, bottle. Actually, it's a cheap uh, Walgreens knockoff, I think. <laughs> for that. Um, I was going to use my stainless steel bottle, but I wanted you guys to see, I don't know if you can see very well, the sediment in there to filter that out using coffee filters. And this is just an option, guys. I know a lot of people use a rag. You can use a, a cotton rag, which are great to use. Um, 
So this is just an option. I now have like a, a hard filter for my coffee maker and stuff like that. So I thought, well, what am I going to do with these? And uh, yeah, they uh, filter out the sediment perfect, uh, perfectly. So uh, you can use one and you can even use two if you want to double up as well. So get these going for you. And um, then we'll boil it. So basically what you do is you just hold the filter kind of over and just kind of... What I'd like to do is use these little butterflies for kind of secure it a little bit on one side. Okay. And then just put it down in there just a little bit. Okay. And then hold the other side. You could even take like a rubber band if you wanted to, but you need to get a little bit of a reservoir in there so that way it collects and doesn't spill over. So, and then just pour. Now remember, this is a filter, so you got to kind of slowly, slowly go and let it do its thing. And as it gets wet, as this gets wet, it'll, um, it will, uh, filter a lot faster. So, yeah, you can hear, I don't know if you can hear it. You can hear it filtering in there a little bit better. Then you kind of just watch and see how much you got. It takes a little bit of time to do, but ultimately it can be done with the filter. And if you pour it really slow, and again guys, this is just an option. A cotton rag works pretty quick too. So I'm just showing you for demonstration purposes if this is something all you had or or, you know, just an option. You want to get rid of coffee filters, it's just a great way to use them. And I'm going to let this kind of filter out the rest, show you the sediment inside, and then uh, we'll go from there. You guys can see the sediment there. As it's filtering in. You guys can see that's pretty clear. Uh, I did have this uh, cup in my bag a little bit, so there was a couple little little mineral pieces that you can see down there. But it's uh, definitely a lot clearer. Uh, filtered out the sediment pretty well. So you can see a lot of the sediment there. But uh, yeah, so that's just an option to do that. And then uh, we'll let this filter dry and then uh, go from there. All right, so once your filter is dry, uh, dried out, it took about 20 minutes to dry out. So now that it's dry, uh, what you can do is now you have to boil your water. So I just kind of ripped this up. A bit windy here. We'll see. So you can boil it or you can. It's really cold here. <laughs> so now you have tinder down in there and uh, burns for about, still burning. Gives you a little bit, of, it's more of a flash tinder than anything, but if you have some dry sticks, it should catch pretty well. So uh, just something that you can use if you need to.
All right, guys, so uh, you're probably wondering, wait a minute, he was starting a fire, and now we're boiling it using the alcohol stove. Um, well, I just kind of had some trouble, not with the fire, but uh, it's been a crazy weekend camping. Um, on my way out here, I popped a flat uh, and things like that and uh, used pretty much all the campfire last night because it got down really cold and um, didn't have enough firewood uh, because I'm on a campsite, so I can't just go into the woods and grab wood otherwise I would have done that so I just wanted to show you this method anyway on uh, you know obviously you have to boil your water after you filter the sediment out of it you can do it with a fire and the coffee filter can use a little bit as a flash tender to get a fire started so that's why I just want to show you that that can happen that you can get a fire started that way um, and stuff like that so uh, yeah uh, we'll get it boiling and uh, go from there All right, guys, once you've achieved your rolling boil, uh, check the CDC standards uh, in your area. I know in my area, at least one minute. Um, if you're in a higher elevation, sometimes they recommend boiling for longer. But here in northeast Indiana, one minute, and that should kill all the bacteria, all the pathogens, anything that would make you sick. So once you got it for one minute, you're good to go. Cheers. Not bad. Because it's cold out, um, it's actually pretty good. That's a little... Straighten you guys out there a little bit there. <laughs> there we go. Uh, it's cold out, so it actually is good to drink warm water. Sometimes you can let it cool all the way if you want. and uh, But it's actually not bad. So, I'm have some more. All right, well, thank you guys for uh, joining me today uh, on this uh, trip. And uh, you can see me holding the phone right there in my glasses. So, uh, but uh, I don't have my tripod with me today. I forgot it. And uh, had, had a flat tire again. So, you know, um, it was an interesting day yesterday. I meant to get out here earlier and do all this filming yesterday. And then plans changed and I got a little sidetracked. So I apologize that I couldn't do it over the fire for you guys to actually show it. But you know, you can boil your water anyway, whether you have a gas stove, you know, a, pro, a little propane stove, butane stove, alcohol stove, boil it in the fire. Whichever way you guys want to do it is up to you. But either way, you have to boil it for one minute. And uh, hope you guys uh, like this video. Make sure and do me a favor and subscribe, like, share. And I'll be back with another video for you guys as soon as I possibly can. But before I go, I want to say thank you to everyone who has subscribed. Thank you for your comments. Thank you for your shares. Thank you for your likes. Um, I, I, I appreciate it. So I'll be back with another video as soon as I can. Take care, everyone. And, oh, of course, how could I end a video without saying this? Get outside and have a great time. Take care.